enjoy this geisha inspired tutorial and it is featuring the Ed Hardy geisha flat iron. What I'm going to do is I'm going to section my hair like this. I'm going to add one ponytail on each side. As you can see, I'm going to separate a section for my bangs and then a ponytail in the back, but you can add two if you'd like. At the very top, I'm going to use my Ed Hardy Geisha Flat Iron. I'm going to curl my hair, and this is just going to make it easier to put it into a pin curl. I prefer to use the flat iron rather than a curling iron because it gives it more of a pompadour sort of finish. Then I'm going to take my bangs and I'm going to finger style and adjust it just the way that I like until I feel that it is perfect, and then I'm going to add some bobby pins. As you can see, one hand is always holding the hair down before the bobby pins go in. And then you can style it accordingly. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take those side ponytails and I'm going to turn them into buns. This hairstyle can also be used on little girls. And instead of doing the bangs in the front, you can just separate the hair and split it in half like ponytails. Then I am going to add some bobby pins to ensure that these buns on the side of my head are secured in place. Make sure you do it on the other side so that you have two buns on each side of your head. The next step is to add some hairspray and just make sure you get rid of any of the flyaways that you've created while working on your hair. And then I'm going to take sections of that back ponytail and I'm going to use my Geisha flat iron to create texture by creating curls right at the bottom of my hair. I'm just going to do this on several pieces. This is going to add a lot of bounce and really going to make the hairstyle look very beautiful. There is a texture that I was talking about that I wanted to add to this style. It's not exactly curly but it's not exactly flat either. It's just going to add a real pretty touch to this style. So I'm pretty much done with the style. The other thing you can do is accessorize it, such as adding geisha style makeup. Or you can split the back part in two to create ponytails. You can also add a couple of pretty flowers. I highly recommend using orchids and keeping them close to your face or regular chopsticks and put them in your hair. Now you don't have to do the hairstyle just the way that I'm doing it. You don't have to use the accessories that I'm using, but these are just suggestions so that you can be inspired. I love the way this texture is right at the bottom of my hair. Uh, the other option is to wear your hair to the side instead of splitting it in two but I think splitting it in two looks really beautiful. It also kind of reminds me of the Chun-Li character, doesn't it? Anyway, I think it's very beautiful and can be worn in a costume or can be worn for anything. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do. Thanks so much for watching.